Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and today is September the 12th. I'm looking forward to doing your Just For Today in a meditation with you. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get into the meditation. September 12th, New Horizons. My life is well-rounded and I am becoming a more comfortable version of myself, not the neurotic, boring person that I thought I'd be without drugs. Is there really life without drugs? Newcomers are sure that they are destined to lead a humdrum existence once they quit using. That fear is far from reality. Narcotics Anonymous opens the door to a new life, a new way of life for our members. The only thing we lose in NA is our slavery to drugs. We gain a host of new friends, time to pursue hobbies, the ability to stay stably employed, be stably employed, <laughs> struggling this morning, even the capacity to pursue in education if we so desire. We are able to start projects and see them through to completion. We can go to a dance and feel comfortable even if we have two left feet. We start to budget money to travel even if it's only with a tent to a nearby campsite. That sounds nice. In recovery, we find out what interests us and pursue new pastimes. We dare to dream. Life is certainly different when we have the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous to return to. Throughout the love we find in and A, we begin to believe in ourselves. Equipped with this belief, we venture forth into the world to discover new horizons. Many times, the world is a better place because an NA member has been there. Just for today, I can live a well-rounded, comfortable life, a life I've never dreamed existed. Recovery has opened new horizons to me and equipped me to explore them. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. You know, I was thinking this morning, it's so nice to sit in my home office and to be able to just relax. Just relax. And as I look around at the four corners of this office, I think about how many new horizons have I been able to see just by doing work in this office? A lot of my lost dreams have awakened as a result of Narcotics Anonymous. And if I look at each and every wall, literally my walls are surrounded by books, bookshelves, some of them go clear up to the ceiling. In every shelf that I look at, there's NA literature and there's other spiritual literature. On every single bookshelf and every single wall. And you know what else I see? I see a di dictionary on every shelf. And sometimes I'm looking at maybe four or five different 
dictionaries. And there's journals on every shelf that have been written in from the beginning to the end, from the first to the last page. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because sometimes a new horizon, we can't see that far. We come into Narcotics Anonymous and we think, I can't believe I stopped using. I can't believe I put the drugs down. And one half of us, we're celebrating it. And the other half of us is just amazed that what we thought was fun, what we thought we would do until our dying day, we've given it up. Now, where your two feet are is where you're standing just for today. And I want you to take a spiritual look to the past. I want you to catch a glimpse of your last day that you used. You might have been in jail. You might have been headed to prison. You may have been packing your bags, moving out of a home that contained individuals that you loved and they were fed up. You may be picking up your belongings off of the ground because they threw your stuff out. You may be picking it up from boxes and plastic bags because no one could tolerate your using anymore. You may be actually remembering waking up in the hospital from an overdose. When I look at my days of using, I see a promiscuous female that was sad, did not believe in herself, and had to paint this beautiful outward picture. I see a girl that had a shape that looked like she was a model. And indeed, in some instances, I had modeled. But my outsides did not match my insides. My outsides were a shiny garbage can. You know those aluminum tin garbage cans we used to have that had a little top on them, two handles on the side? It was a shiny garbage can, but the inside was full of rotten trash that had maggots all over it. That's, that's my days of using. I don't know what your days of using looked like, but I want you to catch a glimpse of that. And now I want you to look at where your feet are. Look at where you're at right now. And I want you to make a commitment to yourself to only look back at the past using individual. If you're doing your step work with your sponsor or you're trying to use that experience, strength and hope in a first step meeting for a newcomer, or you're just simply trying to remind yourself how far you've come. All of that garbage served absolutely no purpose. You have no room for it in your life other than for it to fuel your future, your new horizon. It brought you to where you are. And that's the only thing to be grateful for, that you received the gift of desperation and it brought you to where you are right now. Maybe you're thinking where I'm at right now is not that great. Yeah, I painted a beautiful picture of all of my surroundings, but you know, there's things in my office that I need to organize. I have a shredder, a beautiful, large size shredder. And I use it to get rid of all of that stuff that comes in the mail with my personal information on it. I use that 
to get rid of things that no longer serve their value and have a wonderful looking box. That's all it really is. That I throw junk mail in things that I used to need. Um, they come in the mail and I had to make sure that I walked it from start to finish to resolve that business issue. That box, that shredding box, is not as full as it used to be. But that's only because I have this shredder that I use and it's larger and I don't have to worry about emptying it as much. So I'm able to shred more frequently. There's other things. I have a shelf full of hair products. And when I look at it, I just get irritated. I need a place just for those hair products. What, what am I saying? I'm saying that when you're stretching yourself to go for your new horizons, when you stand on your two feet and you look around yourself, you're going to see some pleasant things and you're going to see some things that are not so pleasant. There's going to be some areas of your life you're going to need to organize. There's going to be some areas of your life that you're going to need to shred to pieces. There are going to be areas in your life that you need to monitor, look at daily, doing that 10th step on a regular basis. It is not always going to be beautiful. I was talking to a friend of mine and I said, I just, you know, I'm, I'm OCD, but it seems like I never am making any progress with organizing and cleaning. It seems like there's always a nook or cranny, shelf, or drawer, bedroom that needs my attention. And I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to tire out just from that constant obsessive compulsive need to organize things. Okay. And I was telling her, I said, I don't, I don't know. Um, our our children just naturally you know, messy, disorganized. She started laughing. And she said, honey, I have raised four boys. And I can tell you, if they come to my home today, I'm going to still need to go into their room and tell them, pick this mess up. And girl, they're grown now, all of them. That is a part of who they're developing to be. That's part of growing up. That's part of being a child and not understanding that a cluttered surrounding is a cluttered mind. When they were home, I, I raised them to do all of that, but I had to stay on top of them. She says, so don't have that unrealistic expectation of them. You're going to have to give them reminders to do the things that they need to do. And don't be angry when you do it. Tell them, this is the last time I'm telling you to pick up your room and to make your bed and make sure you vacuum when you're done. Just tell them like that or set a deadline. 30 minutes when I come back, I need this room to be clean. The point that she was making is that I needed to get to the point where I had some acceptance. And stop letting the actions or inactions of other people determine my happiness. And more than likely, you have the same thing going on. Because we're clean today and we woke up, we can see clearly our surroundings. And when we're looking at new horizons and we're trying to make efforts towards going towards those uh, new open doors, as a result of being clean and having a uh, sober mind, we can think our way through these things. And we're making headway, but some, sometimes that headway doesn't seem to be quick enough, far, far enough. We seem to take three steps forward and five back. 
two steps and three back. And I come to tell you today, you're making progress. If you're sitting and listening to this podcast and it's a part of your morning routine, you are making progress. Today, I want for you to take a glimpse of where you came from, but don't stay there. Do not become a statue or a pillar of salt looking back at past things. Don't do it. Rather, use your energy, your thinking capacity, your health to take better care of yourself. That self-care is going to be so important as you dare to dream. As a result of Narcotics Anonymous, you're in a position where you can live a well-rounded, comfortable life. You can do things that you thought you would never be able to do. There are new horizons that are opening up to us. The thing is, sometimes we can't see the forest for the trees. So in a spiritual sense, we need to make a path going forward. You know those loggers? Out in California, there's loggers. And they show up to work every day to just do nothing more than cut down trees. Unfortunately, a lot of them are burnt, right? Because of forest fires. But you have to make a way forward. You have to make a way forward. You need to know what type of trees have rooted in your heart. What trees have bitter roots in your heart that you need to take down? And I want you to start making a, a way to do that. For some of you, that's going to be, I need to wake up and do the do my Just for Today in a meditations. Um, I need to have some prayer in the morning. I need to exercise. I need to take my prescrip you know, prescribed medication for either blood pressure or arthritis or uh, what else is there? Diabetes, right? You may have some prescribed medications that some days you take them, some days you don't. And the reason you don't take them is because you don't like taking pills or they make you feel a certain way. They're too strong. Call your doctor if they're too strong. If what he's giving you or she's giving you is making you sleepy and you feel like you're drugged as a result, then talk to your doctor about the dosage. Don't just stop taking what has been prescribed to help you with your physical health. So some of you making a, a pathway forward might be making an appointment with the doctor. I want for you to take your inventory today and figure out those new horizons that you're trying to pursue that you're looking forward to. The only way you're going to ever get there is if you're alive. Of a healthy state of mind, honest, open, and willing, right? Honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness. The only way you're ever going to attain those things is if you do self-care. I charge you today with deep self-care, not outward self-care, not the stuff that other people see that interests me so very little. I went to a beautiful banquet over the weekend, and for the first time in, I can't tell you how long, I put on a high heel shoe, a beautiful formal attire. And I'm telling you, there were some people that saw me and they were like, what? And I just giggled. Thought to myself, oh, they think I cannot dress up. They think that I am just a comfy gal you know, every day just laid back in my attire. Are they serious? I have four closets in my home full of business attire, full of formal clothing, beautiful dress clothes. I can't tell you how many shoe boxes I actually have. It's hilarious. 
that I even thought that I could wear these four inch heels at any point in time. It's hilarious. I know all about dressing up the outside. I know that you know all about dressing up the outside. Today, I need you to go inside. Today, I need you to go in there into your heart and pull out those bitter roots. And I need you to tear those trees down, tear those root, roots out. I need you to take with force the some of it's going to make you nervous. Just the thought of addressing some old issue, right? Today, I need you to go inside so that I can get you to the new horizons that you're looking forward to so that God can lead you to in the spirit of the third step and the 11th step so that God can lead you to what you are meant to be doing, right? So that your, your true will is the will of God over your life. I need to get you there and I can't get you there unless you do the work. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today and I will be talking to you tomorrow.